Hey, I'm gonna take a chance to do uh, basically an update to a video uh, from the past. So, um, not sure who all's heard about this. It just came across my desk not too terribly long ago. So, um, I did a video a while back on replacing an X13 motor with a PSC motor. And it was, honestly, it was a total hack job because you had to cut all the wires, put some terminal ends on the new motor, but um, it's good for beginning HVAC guys um, to think about the process and where they draw power from and where they're going to put power to, uh, relays involved and everything. So uh, we had a guy that uh, frequents the shop come through and he mentioned uh, a fairly new product. So I had not heard of this, but um, there's a, a brand out there called ICM and they have created a product where it is just a circuit board that is basically plug for plug, terminal for terminal, uh, no cutting wires or anything. It's the ICM 715. So uh, I'm not sponsored or anything like that, you know, but I'm just, this is just an FYI for, uh, for you guys out there that might see it. Um, it might be worth having on your truck for stock if you have this customer um, who's willing to go and do it. Maybe you've had to replace a few X13 motors and a problem unit or something like that. So uh, it, it's probably worth the money uh, in, in, a, in a few instances. Uh, so take it for what you will. Um, like all their products that I've seen in the past, ICM's gonna, gonna give you some instructions to go with their particular board. It's really not that hard. Uh, it's fairly simple. We'll take a look at it here in just a second, just to kind of zoom in on the board itself. But it's not the original. Uh, I sent ICM an email and I asked them, I was like, hey, this is still kind of new to me. I hadn't, hadn't heard of it before, you know, and I said, just, just so I know when it came out, uh, and the lady was kind of vague on it, but she's like, hey, it, it came out within the past year. So um, first part of 2024, I'm gonna say this is a 2023 product, um, just so you kind of know, I guess, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good stuff. I mean, it is because ICM, uh, what they do, um, it's not the original. It's a fairly new product for them. So the original product, I've got a little sheet right here, it comes from Mainstream Engineering and the Quick products. Uh, and they actually have uh, several different versions. They've got the X1, the X3, the V3. So basically any ECM motor that you have, variable speed, uh, X13, whatever, um, they have a board for it and also the instructions on their site. So uh, I'll try to throw up a couple of quick information pages on that for each one, just so you know where it's coming from. Um, I was not able to get a quick products board. I was able to get an ICM. So that's the reason I'm doing the ICM. Um, given that they have a, uh, a product for variable speed, uh, I'll probably try to do it again just to give you a quick update you know, later on. But uh, I gotta save my pennies and stuff. I'm not them big time YouTube people. But uh, we'll try to do one with a uh, variable speed to a PSC motor. So uh, here's a, a couple little pages for them. Uh, you can definitely look up their website and download the information as well. So, um, yeah, look at these. Now, with that being said, um, the X, uh, excuse me, the ICM 715 replaces only one of their boards, uh, and it replaces the X1. So it's, it's real simple. If you have an X13 that's going to do two different speeds, like a heat and a cool, this is only going to give you a single speed. So basically it's taking it down to uh, like a Goodman air handler board. You won't, no matter if you're heat or cool, you're only getting one speed, whether that's high, whether that's medium, whether that's low. In my neck of the woods, I would adjust the CFM to the cooling speed or the cooling cycle. Um, just to make things right. We're, we're more worried about the uh, cooling than we are the heating around here. So um, that being said, let's take a quick look and I've got two air handlers in the back. One we've already installed this board in uh, just to show you how it's gonna look. Um, the other one I'll use just to kind of demonstrate what it's gonna be. So off the bat, when you take it out the box, um, you know, pretty saran wrap. It's got a single page set of instructions. Um, if you've ever seen any air handler board, um, you know, these little black pieces right here, that's probably going to be your relay. And actually it goes in and tells you some voltage and amp ratings and stuff on it. Um, 
pretty standard stuff for something that looks like an air handler board. Um, so this is the relay that we're now going to use to control the PSC motor. And I mean, right here on the dead top, it says two PSC motor. We've got our speed, which is going to be basically your, uh, like your L1 side. And then your common is going to be your neutral or your L2. This, if I read the instructions correctly, can handle a 120 volt motor or a 240 volt motor. So um, one side of power and the other one is how this is going to lay out. But everything for your PSC motor is right here. You've only got a single speed tap. You don't have any dummy terminals to hold any other unused speeds, but I mean, that's no big deal. You got zip ties and electrical tape. So for the rest of it, um, basically we have, and they stuck with the, with uh, what was, you know, in the unit, of course. So we're basically going to unplug the plugs off of your X13 motor. We've got our five low voltage connections here that are all quarter inch males with a common over here at the corner. And then your L1, L2 and ground or your L1 uh, and neutral and ground are all 3 16 connections right there. And basically it's a, a plug and a play. They do have a little test jumper and a, another terminal right here for 24 volts power constant, you know, your R connection, so 24 hot. Um, and you get into some timings for a off delay. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, if you ever come across a situation where you're gonna replace an X13 motor with a PSC, this looks like a pretty good option. We're gonna try it out here in the shop, but um, I'm not worried about an off delay uh, or anything like that. If, if the fan uh, or if the thermostat cuts the fan off, I want it to be off. If it cuts it on, I want it to be on. So bypassing any extra wiring and jumpers or whatnot, we're just gonna take it for what it is, no timings. So. It, this is going to make this X13 plugs and everything easy to turn this into a simple air handler. So this is going to be our new air handler board. So um, that being said, I'm going to take you back in the shop. And All right, let's take a look at how this is going to work. This is a carrier unit that we have in the shop. It is not an X13 per se, but it looks exactly like, the, you know, as far as the connections and everything. So right here, uh, pay attention. I've got a low voltage white wire on the number four and I've got a low voltage blue wire on the number two. I've got the power off to this unit, so before you do any connecting and disconnecting, we're gonna unplug the unit itself or turn the breaker off, and I'm gonna remove those two. Um, this is gonna be placed on the J taps on this, uh, this new board we have, so J2 and J4. Blue one is two, white one is four, and then the, the high voltage power and the 24 common is gonna be in a plug, um, so you can't mess it up, 3 16 connections, the, the 24 common is gonna be this brown wire. It's gonna have a quarter inch connection and we have a blank terminal that's gonna line up on the board. What I would tell you here, let me turn this a little bit and get my cameraman going here. If you do this on your unit, uh, which is very possible, you'll notice that there's a lot of holes cut in the top of this, uh, this uh, top service area. And we have one that's rectangular. I would not want to mount this board down here to have the wires bent around and stuff like that. Um, I guess if you had to in some situations, but that's probably not the best look. So if you look and follow what the manufacturer did, you can actually take and run these wires back up through to that top area. Um, you could leave the ground in place if you wanted to, or you could relocate it. And we would put this service, uh, the circuit board up here somewhere on top of this panel or uh, top of this uh, shelf here. And that way we could secure it, uh, um, you know, with a couple self-tapping screws or whatever. But mainly all the wiring would be up here in the top. So that being said, uh, this plug itself, This plug itself ain't hard, right? We've already went through it. So I've got a dead spot right here with the neutral ground and L1 connections with the common. We are going to plug that straight away into there, right? I've got my low voltage wires. Uh, if you remember, the white was on four. They call it J4 on here. And I've got the blue on two, which is J2 on here. Um, and that would be pretty much the X13 connections here. The only thing we're lacking is uh, if I had a PSC motor here, which I'll take you to the unit on my 
on my uh, to my left or whatnot but I would put uh, my speed that I'm using here and the other side of power uh, on this common terminal but uh, we could easily secure it up in the top uh, but let me take you over here and I'll show you here we are this is the unit that uh, the guys had put one in uh, and you can see they actually uh, well, somebody's got some loose wire in here they need to practice on, but uh, uh, you can see where they actually mounted the control board here right above that rectangular uh, opening that they pulled the plug through. So now, uh, short of the ground wire that they left, pretty much all the wiring is safe and secure. I'm not going to pinch it in a cover or anything like that. They have chosen to run uh, the white in this case is not a neutral. It's my other side of power for this motor, which is a, a 208, 240 uh, set up on the air handler. But I've got a four speed motor. I've got black, red, blue, yellow. So this is more likely a high as uh, the black wire. Red is going to be low and I've got a medium high and a medium low to choose from. So we're going to individually terminate each um, of the speeds that we're not using. You never want to put power on uh, or connect those speeds together, individually isolate them. But I've got my other side of power on the common and I've got my speed wire, my black for my high on the actual speed tap. So uh, the unit's turned on, plugged in. If I hit the, um, if I hit the fan on at the thermostat, Gonna take it a couple seconds, uh, about five seconds or so, uh, maybe 10, uh, for the thermostat to uh, send that signal for the fan to be on. But we now have a PSC motor in place of this X13. Turn it off, shouldn't take but a second. And there we go. Like I said, I chose not to use a 24 volt uh, straight wire, you know, uh, on the R on that terminal. Um, and I'm not worried about setting the test pins in this particular case because uh, I don't really need any timing. But uh, like I said, this thing is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to save you from hacking up some wires and everything. All right, so that's just a couple minutes on this board. Uh, like I said, it's fairly easy, self-explanatory. It's got a sheet of instructions in there uh, in the box with it. So if you're looking to go back to uh, an older style motor like the PSC motor, it's a little more reliable, but uh, it doesn't have uh, some of the issues the X13 does sometimes. So uh, if you're looking to change something out, you might want to consider this board. It's been out for a while. Check your local parts house. I'm sure you can Amazon it, uh, eBay it. You know, somebody's got it somewhere. So uh, supplyhouse.com, I don't know, you know, pick one. So uh, Google it.